My name is Esad Lanja. I used to be guard at Jalabechi prison camp. <laughs> Willful killing, murder, torture. All my life since trial, it's lie. I need my life back. I thought it could be a really, uh, really interesting project to, to follow him over the years because I sense he has that he has guilt. And how how do you overcome guilt? How do you overcome so massive guilt when you have killed people with with your with, with cold blood? The process has been a long process. It has taken 15 years to 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 make the, the documentary. 15 years. 15 years, and so it has been a really long, long road, and, and really a tough road. All my life, since trial, it's lie. I need my life back. Can you forgive a person who has done almost the worst thing you can do? And he, he has done it, okay, he was, he was very young and he was influenced by his uh, authorities, but can you forgive him and can he forgive himself? Mm -hmm. I think that's the really, really interesting issue is also that my, where, where I come from, uh, Denmark, we have sent uh, young people in, uh, in, uh, in war and war is, you know, something that you cannot imagine. So I think it's, it's a really, really important uh, theme. And at last I would say that, that uh, and I also realized making this film, uh, I realized that there are some things that cannot be forgiven. You must live with them and you must be doomed until you die. Mm -hmm. I really did bad things. Would I be able to forgive somebody like me? Do you know what happened to the characters, the, the ones who were done wrong to, the, the ones that he apologized from, what happened to them afterwards? Well, the, the, the victims was quite happy about meeting us mm -hmm. because it was, it was like, a, you know, they, they could close the past by that meeting and and it's basically one one person uh, Strauko who is a part of the film and he's meeting Esad and he was really humi humiliated by Esad, uh, Esad Lancio. He was really uh, he, he, he phoned us after the day after and he said it was the first time in 25 years he has slept uh, a whole night without thinking about the past. Mm -hmm.